English for teaching purposes. Motivating students. Oh yes, students taking subjects in a foreign language are driven. Motivation comes from within. What we can do is offer confidence boosts that will be transformed into battery power for them. Some of your students are likely to feel that they have to work twice as much for your subject than for the other subjects. They may also feel insecure about their language skills sometimes. Sounds familiar? Both you and your students are writing on the same wave and you can both use all the help you can get. This video is about methodology rather than language, though the suggestions we present are related to language use instead of content delivery. Here they go. Create a relaxed class atmosphere. Learning is impossible if you always feel on the line. Encourage them to participate, to ask questions, to answer them. Make them feel they are an important part of a shared project to boost their confidence. Acknowledge your students' efforts. Do it explicitly. Give fair feedback and appreciate the work in progress as much as the results. Demystify mistake correction. Correct students' mistakes when necessary. Do it with respect and in the understanding that spotting and correcting a mistake is an opportunity for improvement. Don't linger on the correction. Just point out the mistake and move on. Don't make language an issue. Help students see language as their medium to communicate, not as an obstacle or a goal in itself. Encourage participation. Ask questions frequently. Accept all answers and encourage students to decide which is the best one. Empower them so they understand they do have a say. Focus on communication. Getting messages across is important. If students have difficulties expressing an idea, don't focus your attention or the classes on the form. Open communication channels. Some students will shy away from speaking their mind in class, but they will do it at ease in some other contexts. Create online communication channels, such as forums. Encourage them to create study groups and find time to answer their questions and doubts. Do project work. Students' motivation could be improved by developing projects that help them focus on the work and not the language. If your classes aren't too large, organize the groups yourself, making sure there's at least a proficient speaker in each. Encourage collaboration. Promote old-school collaborative learning. Get to know your students. Help them help each other. Praise the group. Whenever possible, let students know you appreciate their collective effort, their will to learn. When the whole class reaches a collective landmark, acknowledge it. When praise is due, Spread it out loud. And remember, you have a key role in helping your students have a more active role when learning. See you next time.